Hello again, welcome back to the kitchen table. Um, as promised, it's just a very quick update um, after managing to get out with my son today and do a range testing flight based on putting the new um, transmitter and range extender antennas from Horizon FPV uh, and having a completely stock, as you can see, stock vision. I haven't got any weird and wonderful antennas hanging off it. We've just gone for exactly what we had. Um, and so I thought I'd, I'd let you know how we got on. Uh, conditions for the test. Um, I had a fully charged uh, range extender. In fact, it was running off my portable power pack, so it was tip top. Um, and I had some Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries uh, in the transmitter that were, they did about seven or eight flights, so they weren't tip top fresh. Um, I was always, when I always flew line of sight, so I didn't go behind anything or disappear behind trees. I did actually fly over trees at one point. Um, so, you know, and this was an area, I chose an area that I've flown before where I've maxed out my transmitter range at about a thousand feet. And I've had FPV at about a thousand feet, but it was flaky and coming in and out. So um, yeah, so we took it out. It's a bit chilly, a bit windy, um, but we took it out and had a and had a go. Um, I recorded the mission on the Flytrex, and here's a here's a screenshot of my Flytrex mission. And you can see um, for the maximum distance, I've, I've basically doubled it um, on the control, which is fantastic. Um, I can't see me ever needing wanting to fly two thousand feet away. I was going to be happy with 1500 or less, to be honest, because you can't see it at 2000 feet. But that was a really excellent result, especially considering the, the antenna is so small. Um, here's another um, screen grab from the phone, which shows you that at 1200 plus feet, um, I had crystal clear FPV. There was no glitching, no lag. And this was, again, over some trees. So there would have been a bit of a... A reduction in the signal hitting there. The conditions today was a little bit more, there's a lot of moisture in the air, so these aren't ideal. And then what I found as well was if I, um, I probably couldn't go much more than about 1300 feet, I started to drop. That was with the camera facing dead away. So, uh, you know, if we had it here, this is the way it was facing away. So the antennas, of course, are at the sides. So that's going to give you not the best. So then what I did was I yawed it around and flew it on sideways onto one of the antennas. In the side um, and managed to get um, uh, perfect FPV out to 1800 feet which again is is not a million miles off doubling my previous best which was again around a thousand foot mile so in summary by just adding the two ground end antennas and not doing anything to this bad boy I pretty much doubled the effective range that I had now mine was relatively low I seem to max out at a thousand feet on control but you know, a thousand feet for Wi-Fi is kind of what's what's the spec from DJI. So if you are, um, you know, if you are having some issues because of the area you fly in, or you want to, uh, you know, just see if you can improve, then then you know these these antennas seem to be fantastic. If you're already getting two thousand foot range from your controller, I I don't know what 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 these will do for you if anything. But certainly if you're if you're getting in, in the region that I was and want to push that out a little bit. My purpose in doing this isn't to get super extreme range. I don't really see the point of, of doing that. But it was to get me to about 1500 feet with stable control, stable FPV, so that I can do videos and be a bit more flexible rather than having to constantly sort of move my, my position to, to get somewhere. So all in all, big thumbs up to these Horizon antennas. Uh, if I, uh, having spoken to Will at Horizon, he was saying if I add the corresponding tuned antennas to the aircraft, um, he theorizes that the only limit then will probably be the battery power because he, he foresees it going, you know, very significant um, distances. And this is all without any kind of amplification or boosting. So um, that's that was really good. So. Uh, thanks for your interest, those of you been following it, and um, uh, yeah, this seems to be a really nice setup. It was easy to control; they weren't two directional. I was able to um, follow the, the the aircraft by 
you know, moving the transmitter and both the uh, antennas moved in parallel and it was great so it's a big thumbs up from me um, definitely worth it's been worth my um, time doing the mod so so yeah so I hope that's been interesting and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>